Climate change is not some philosophical discussion. It is here, and it's changing the world around us. Meteorologist Mike Slifer explores the link between our changing climate and extreme storms. Nearly 60 wildfires are burning out of control across the west right now. Unbearable heat out west is blamed for wildfires. And Firefighters in California are battling wildfires that are burning out of control. Weather shapes our lives every day. But what if events like this weren't considered extreme? What if they were just as common as your everyday thunderstorm? It's hard to believe, but that's the concern for people like Andrew Pershing. This summer, we're dealing with multiple climate-related events across the United States. Andrew is the director of climate science with Climate Central in Princeton, New Jersey. Andrew's experience spans decades, and the models he has seen over the years could mean extreme weather will become more and more common if nothing is done to change it. If you step back, the world that we're living in this summer is very consistent with what the climate models that were run 30 years ago. In 2021, the National Interagency Fire Center reports more than 48,000 wildfires burned on the West Coast, with more than 6.5 million acres of land destroyed. If that wasn't enough, wildfires were followed by massive flooding and mudslides. On the East Coast, changes in our weather patterns have made flash flooding and water damaged property an everyday problem. We've had extreme heat in the Northeast uh, periodically this summer. We've got another bout on the way soon. Uh, we've had very wet conditions across much of, the, much of the Northeast. When we talk about climate change, it's important to understand that a couple of warm months do not point to a shift in the climate. The concern starts when we see longer patterns. So when we consider the changing weather, we, we have to put that in the context of the longer term trends. Maine State climatologist Dr. Sean Burkle spends his days identifying these patterns. What has he found? Well, over the past century, Maine's climate has warmed by about three degrees Fahrenheit, and there's also been an observed increase in the total annual precipitation. But what difference does a three degree shift make? Winters are shorter and more mild than they used to be, and the summers are likewise. In terms of the summertime heat that we experience, it's a little longer. Rain events are getting bigger, droughts longer, nights are staying warmer. That's been observed here in Maine, in the Northeast, and uh, elsewhere across the Northern Hemisphere as it relates to the broader warming of Earth's climate. Think of it this way, as temperatures climb, Air conditioning will be more common, which uses more power. Growing seasons for our local farmers will likely start to shift and lengthen. We will likely see more rain through more saturated storms, which means everything in the ground is affected from tree roots to home foundations. For Maine, it translates into Mainers adapting, which in many cases requires dollars spent on repairs to current buildings and changing how we build in the future. But in many cases across our country, it's the worst case scenario where more frequent extreme weather costs lives. I'm meteorologist Mike Slifer, News Center, Maine. And for a closer look at how climate change is impacting Maine, tune in Friday night at 7 p.m. right here on News Center, Maine.